crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be converting this woven tassel rug into an envelope style pillow cover using all materials from the Dollar Tree. I was so impressed with the quality of these rugs and I knew that they would make an awesome pillow cover to incorporate into my home decor. I am so excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say welcome back to my current and new subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and you are obsessed with DIY projects as much as I am, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you'll be, you'll be the first to know when a new tutorial is ready to share. So now, let's go ahead and jump right into that tutorial. Now recently, our Dollar Tree recently received these awesome tassel rugs that come in a variety of colors. For this project, I chose the dark gray and white rug. You will also need a Dollar Tree pillowcase, which I purchased this two pack for a dollar. The first thing you wanna do is lay out your rug and remove any tags or packaging. Now go ahead and take note of the size of the rug because you will need this information to complete the project. Next, we wanna prepare our pillowcase for the back of the rug. Go ahead and remove the packaging and set that extra pillowcase off to the side. As you can see by the label, the size is larger than our rug, so we'll be cutting this to fit. Now you wanna take the pillowcase and we wanna cut along each of the side seams to open it up. And this will result in one long strip of fabric. Now you wanna just go ahead and grab your pressing mat or ironing board and an iron, and we are going to press the fabric to remove all of those wrinkles from being packaged. Once all pressed out, we're gonna go ahead and take the two ends of the fabric, align them together, and we're gonna go ahead and cut them off with scissors or a rotary cutter. Now you can opt to keep them, but I'll be creating a quarter inch hem here instead of keeping the current pillow hem that's on the manufacturer's pillowcase. Okay, now we'll do just a simple little math to figure out the size of the back of the pillow. This rug measures 16 inches height by 24 inches length. And for this cover, we'll have two halves that overlap to make the uh, envelope back. So what we'll do is we'll take the length of the pillow and divide it in half to make 12 inches. Now to have enough fabric to do that overlap, we're gonna go ahead and add three inches to that 12 and that will result in 15 inches. And there you have it. Each piece of the pillow back will be 16 inches height by 15 inches long. Super easy, right? Now that we have our dimensions, we can go ahead and cut two squares out of this fabric with the measurements we have just figured out. Now, as you're laying out your fabric, we want to make sure that you clean up any uneven edges as you go and cutting off any of that existing stitching or selvage that may be on that pillowcase. We want nice, clean, even cuts. Now there on the left is that stitching. We're gonna go ahead and cut that off too. We don't want that to be a part of our finished product. Now 
you see we have a little unevenness at the top we're gonna go ahead and level that out as well and our final cut at 16 inches it's okay to go a little long on this you know fabric does tend to expand and it tends to shrink so yeah 16 and an eighth yeah that'll work Now that our pieces are finally cut to size, we're gonna go ahead and take some painter's tape and I'm gonna go ahead and mark the measurements on each side so you don't get mixed up while you're doing your assembly. Since these measurements are so close in factoring, we wanna make sure we mark them 15 inches and 16 inches. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press our folded hem where our opening of our envelope pillow would be. Now we wanna make sure our hem is on the 16 inch length side of the fabric. So what you wanna do is you want to uh, fold in a quarter of an inch, and I'm just eyeballing it here, but you could use a seam gauge if you like. And once that quarter of an inch is pressed in place, we're gonna press it, fold it, and press it over one more time. Make sure you repeat this with the other piece of fabric as well. Now we're gonna take this to the good old sewing machine and we're gonna stitch this down. We wanna make sure our stitches are gonna be very close to the folded edge. Like my one-handed skills there. <laughs> and there's that stitching. Okay, now once we have that seam stitched on both pieces of fabric, what we wanna do now is we're going to fold in a quarter inch on the remaining raw edges. So this will be make it um, nice and clean when we attach it to the rug. So we wanna fold in a quarter of an inch on each of the three remaining sides of both pieces of these, uh, the fabric. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take our rug and we want to lay it down with the back side of the rug facing you. I'm going to go ahead and cut off that care tag so it's out of the way. And now you want to take your envelope pieces and you're going to lay them on top of that rug, making sure that the seams that you just pressed are on the underside. Now, as you see, the pieces will overlap and this is starting to create that envelope opening. You wanna make sure that the edges of the fabric are aligned with the edges of the rug. Now we're gonna go ahead and pin this in place. We wanna make sure that everything is aligned and doesn't shift when we're sewing. Now we go ahead and take it to the machine. We're gonna run a line of stitching along the edge just like we did with our hem all the way around the rug. Now once complete, you can remove all of your pins and all of your marking tape.
Everything looks good. Now we're just gonna grab a standard size pillow here and we're gonna go ahead and insert it into your pillow cover. This cover turned out perfect and the pillow fits great. And now you can go ahead and you can add the pillow to whatever space that you like. The envelope back on this is a really great idea if you like to change home decor often and it prevents you from buying multiple pillows. I mean, space is already limited in our homes, I bet. I really love the zigzag pattern and the tassels on this pillow cover and the design on here is so subtle that it can probably blend into most home decor with ease. And I love the fact that this cover has been sewn and not glued and it makes it more durable and it will hold up to many future washes with no worries. And the best thing about this is you can change it up at any time. Just remove the cover and make a new one because Dollar Tree is always coming out with new and fun patterns on rugs and placemats. Listen, if you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more sewing tutorials. Thank you again for visiting and checking out my tutorial. If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you next time.